According to all non-laws in aviation, there is no way we should be able to fly. Its wings are as small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black. Yellow, black. Yellow, black. Yellow, black. Black and yellow, let's shake it up a little. Bori, breakfast is ready. Coming. Hang on a second. Hello, Bori. Hey, um, can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Is the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry. I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. The perfect report card, old bees. Very proud. Boy, I got a thing going here. You got that on your first. Now, oh, it's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row 1 8. Goodbye. Sorry. I told you. Stop flying in the house. Hey, hey there, Mom. Hi, Bori. Is that first day or a little special day? Graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school. Three days high school. Those were awkward. Three days college. Oh, I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the hive. You did come back different. Hi, Bori. Artie, you want a mustache? Looks good. Hear about Frankie. Yay. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows things someone did that. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a hard head. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. All of this incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Or quite a bit of pomp. Under the circumstances. Well, then, the day we are men. We are the men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, distinguished bees. Please welcome Dean Buzzle. Welcome, New Heart City graduating class of... 915, that concludes our ceremonies and begins your career at Onyx Industries. Will we pick our job today? I heard it's just an orientation. Heads up, here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. Wonder what it'll be like. A little scary. Welcome to Onyx, a division of Onyx going a part of the Hexagon Group. This is it. Why will need you? Is a bee? Have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. A top secret formula is automatically color corrected, sent adjusted and bubble contour into honey. That girl was hot. She's my cousin. She is. Yes, we're all cousins. Right, you're right. At Onyx, we constantly strive to improve every aspect of the existence. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. What do you think it makes? Not enough. Here we have our latest advancement, the Kremen. What does that do? Catches that little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it. Saves us millions. Can anyone work on a Kremlin? Of course. Most bee jobs are small ones. But bees know that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully because you'll stay in the job you pick for the rest of your life. The same job the rest of your life. I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees is a species. Haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you'll just work us to death. We'll sure try. Wow. That blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever. That's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. But, head down. How could they never have told us that? Where would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning society on Earth. You ever think maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know. But you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Raw nectar force on approach. Wait a second. Check it out. Hey, there's a pollen jocks. Well, I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey, jocks. Ah, jocks. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. That is not planned. Outside the hive. Flying who knows where. Doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Look, that's more pollen than you and I will see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Please make too much of it. Perhaps. Unless you're wearing it and the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies. Oh, they are cousins too. Distant. Distant. Look at these two. Couple of high hive hurries. Let's have fun with them. It must be dangerous being a pollen jock. Yeah. One's a bad pain me against a mushroom. He had a paw on my throat. And with the other, he was slapping me. Oh my, I never thought I'd knock him out. What were you doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that. 
A little gusty out there today, wasn't it? Comrades, yeah, gusty. We're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles. Oh, Bori, a tough jump for us, but maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I'm, you or no. We're going on a clock edge gate. What do you think, buzzy ball? Are you be enough? I might be. It all depends on what nine o'clock means. Hey, Harnix, Dad, you surprise me. You decide what you're interested in. Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only get one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? So let me tell you about stirring. You grab that stick, and you just move it around, and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad? The more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. You were thinking of what, making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to go in the honey. Bori, you're also funny sometimes. Oh, I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny, you're going in the honey. Our son, Mr. Stirrer, you're gonna be a stirrer. No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm gonna get an antenna. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax, shave my antennae, shack up with a grasshopper, get a gold tooth and call everybody dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on, all the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen cannon, stumpy, boring, sterile, front desk, hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on. To left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. What are you getting? Picking crit out. Stellar wow. Couple of newbies. Yes, sir. Now our first day, we are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first? No, you go. Um, uh, what's available? Restroom attendance open. Not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting the common? You sure you're on? I'm sorry. The Kremlin just closed out. Wax monkey's always open. The Kremlin opened up again. What happened? Abby died. Makes an opening. The is dead. Another dead. One. Deady. Dead of five. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. That's life. Uh, this is so hard. He can cool in Stumpy, poor star humming. Inspector number seven, the coordinator, stripe supervisor. My wrangler, Mari, what do you think I should? Bori, Bori. All right, we've got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out, at where? At there. Uh, no, I have to, before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die, you're crazy. Oh no, another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a curry in Delhi and all 83rd that gets their roses today. Hey, guys, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son! Fight deck's restricted. It's okay, you know. We're gonna take him up. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Sign here, here. Just initial that. Thank you. Okay, you got a rain advisory today. And as you all know, this cannot fly in rain. So be careful. As always, watch your brooms. Hockey sticks. Dogs. Birds, bears, and bad. Also, I got a couple of reports of rugby being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it. Babbling like a cicada. That's awful. It'll remind for you, Rickies. Being your number one, absolutely no talking to humans. All right, launch positions. Buzz, 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 buzz. Black and yellow, are you ready for this? Hot shot. Yay. Yeah. Bring it on. Wind. Check. And turn it. Check. Let the pack check. Wings check. Stinger check. Scared out of my shorts check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Pound those petunias, you striped stem suckers. All of you, join those flowers. What? I can't believe I'm out so blue. I feel so fast and free. Box cut. Well, well, Lars, this is Bolivia. We have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses, 30 degrees. Roger, bringing it around. Stand to the side. I pick up some pollen here. Sprinkle it over here. Maybe a dash over there. A pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen power. More pollen, more flowers. More nectar, more honey for us. Cool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. Don't we need those? Can't be that visual. Wait. One of these flowers seems to be on the move. Say again. You're reporting a moving flower. Affirmative. That was on the line. This is the coolest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy, chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. My sweet lord of bees, can't you bring? Get off there, problem. Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative. 
Very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy, yeah, you are way out of position, Rookie. Coming in at you like a missile at me! I don't think these are flowers! Should we tell him? I think he knows! What is this? Match point? You can start packing up, honey, because you're about to eat. You're so gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. I'm the this back here. He's going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinks. Bram. Granny, what are you doing? Wow, the tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain, my day, my day. We're going down. Ken, could you close the window, please? Ken, could you close the window, please? Check out my new resume. I made it into a full hour brochure. This time. This time. This. Drips. That is diabolical. It's fantastic. Oh, my special school in my top ten favorite movies. What's number one? Star Wars. Wow, it's a little bit. No, I don't go for that kind of stuff. No wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I leave a job interview, they're flabbergasted. Can't believe what I say. There is a sun. Maybe that's a way out. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. Be stand back. These are winter boots. Wait, don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Why does his life have less value than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is it just statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure. There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume brochure. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out is also a special skill. Right. Bye, Vanessa. Thanks, Vanessa. Next week, you're good night. You sure? Ken, you know, whatever. You could put cab chips on there. Bye. You're supposed to be less calories. Bye. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. Already, here it goes. Now, what would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a big owl. Oh, you're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on, oh, yes. No, I can't. How should I start it? You like Jace? No, that's not good. Here she comes. Speak. You fool. I, I'm sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know you're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. I know I'm dreaming, but I don't recall in a bed. Well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee, and, and I'm not supposed to be doing this. But they were all trying to kill me. And if it wasn't for you, I had to thank you. It's just how I was raised. That was a little weird. I'm talking with a bee. Yeah, I'm talking to a bee, and the bee is talking to me. I just want to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Wait, how did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing? Same way you did, I guess. My mind got a honey. You pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah, these are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we have to deal with. Anyway, can I get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee. I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want rum cake? I shouldn't. Have some. No, I can't. Come on. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms. Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you alright? No. Why would I marry a watermelon? Is that a bee joke? That's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah. Different. So... What are you gonna do, Bori? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the high eye, but I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel, you do. Sure, my parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, there's my hive right there. See it? You're in sheep meadow. Yes! I'm right off the turtle pond, no way, I know that area, I had lost a toe ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes, why not? It's like putting a hand on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You're right, ma'am, oh yeah. Fine, just having a cups of coffee anyway. This has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up the rest of my life. Are you? Wanna take a piece of this with me? Sure, yeah. 
Have a crumb. Thanks. Yeah, all right, well, then. I guess I'll see you around. Or no. Okay, Bori. And thank you so much again. For before. All. It was nothing. Well, not nothing, but anyway. This can't possibly work. He's all set to go. We may as well try it. He gave Dave pull the chute. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans, I can't believe you were with humans, darn. Scary humans, what were they like? You turn crazy, they talk crazy. They eat crazy John things. They drive crazy. Do they try and kill you, like on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How'd you get back? Poodle, you did it, and I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see. You had your experience. Now you can pick out your job and be normal. Yeah. Well, well, I met someone. You did. We should be ish. The wasp. Your parents will kill you. No, 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 not the wasp. The spider. I'm not attracted to spiders. I know it's the hardest thing. With the eight legs and all. I can get by that face. So who is she? She's human. No, no. That's a below. You wouldn't break a below. Her name's been the same. Oh, she's so nice, and she's a florist. Oh, no, you're dating a human forest. And she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crumb. It was so stinking stripy. And that's not what they eat. That's what falls off what they eat. You know what an apple is? No, it's bread and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up. Sit down. Really hard. Listen to me. We are not them. We're us. There's us and there's them. Yes. But who can deny the heart that is in it? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have got to start thinking B. My friend. Thinking B. 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 Oh yeah. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, boy? I gotta start thinking B. How much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? I've got a lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? Bori, I'm talking to you. You're coming. Got everything. All set. Go no ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too long. Watch this. Vanessa, we're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you don't listen. I'm not listening to this. Sorry. I've got to go. Where are you going? I'm meeting a friend. A girl. Is this why you can't decide? Boy, I just hope she's beige. They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena to be in the Tournament of Roses. That's every florist's dream. Up on a full, sorry on about flowers, cards cheering. A tournament. Do the roses compete in athletic events? No, all right. I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster, yeah. Okay. I see. I see y'all. Your, your turn. Devo, you can just freeze live TV. That's insane. You don't have that. We have evil, but it's a disease. It's a horrible, horrible disease. Oh my, them bees, you must want to sting all those jerks. We try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us, so you have to watch your temper very carefully. You kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter and throw it out. Walk through it like any emotion, anger, jealousy, lust. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah. What is wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick and say circular. Yeah, it was. How did you know? It felt like about ten pages. Seventy-five is pretty much our limit. You've really got that down to a science. I lost a cousin to Italian Vogue. Oh, pet. What in the name of mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? Batley, Jordan Blossom, Rayleigh at a private select. You see that actor? I never heard of him. Why is this here? For people. We eat it. You don't have enough food of your own. Well, yes. Hey, you get it. Bees make it. Well, uh, makes it. And it's hard to make it. There's heating, cooling, stirring. You need a whole crumbling thing. It's organic. It's organic. It's just honey. Bori, just what? Bees don't know about this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Hey, Hector. You're almost done. You're almost. He's here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now and just leave this nice honey out. With no one around. You busted, Bucks boar. I knew I heard something. So you can talk. I can talk. And now you'll start talking. We're you getting this sweet stuff. Who's your supplier? You, yeah, sir. Would be lunch for my Iguana Ignace here. Where is the honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. Or is it person? What horrible thing has happened here? These faces. They never knew what hit them. 
And now they're on the road to nowhere. Just keep still. What? You're not dead. Do I look dead? They will wipe anything that moves. Where are you headed? To Harley Farms. I am onto something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood. Crazy stuff. Close your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. And you. He really is there. All right. Now. What is that? I don't know. Oh, I put triple blade, triple blade, jump all right, your own only chance. B, why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do you people need to see? Open your eyes, stick your head out the window. From Imperial New Zealand, Washington, I'm old castle. But don't kill no more bugs, B, moose blood guy. You hear something? Like what? Like tiny screaming. Turn off the radio. What's up, big boy? Hey, blood, just a row on me jars, as far as the eye could see. Well, I somewhere over this truck goes as where they're getting it. I mean, the honey's ours. Please hang tight. We're all jammed in. It's a close community, not us, man. We are our own. Every mosquito on his own. What if you get in trouble? You mosquito, you in trouble. Nobody likes us. They just smack. See a mosquito smack smack. At least you're out in the world. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up. Get with a moth, dragonfly. Mosquito go to what? No mosquito. You got to be kidding me. Moose Blood's about to leave the building so lonely. Hey guys, Moose Blood. I know I'd catch you all down here. Did you bring your crazy straw? We throw it in jars, slap a label on it, and it's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? A beast got a brain the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads, pinhead. Check out the new smoker. Oh sweet, that's the one you want. A Thomas 3000 smoker. 90 puffs a minute, semi-automatic, twice the nicotine, of the tar, a couple press of this knocks them right out. They make the honey, and we make the money. They make the honey, and we make the money. Ew, whoa, what's going on? Oh, are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. Do you know you're in a fake eye with fake walls? Our queen was moved here. We've no choice. This is your queen. That's a man in women's clothes. That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh no, there's hundreds of them. Barely. Our honey is being brazenly stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything Bays have done. I intend to do something. Oh, Rory, stop. Who told you humans are taking our honey? That's a rumor. Do these look like rumors? That's a conspiracy theory. These are obviously doctored photos. How did you get mixed up in this? He's been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend. And they make out, make out. Rory, we do now. You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees. I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Bori, this is what you want to do with your life. I want to do it for all of us. Have a of us. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming home so over with your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop. I remember that. What right do they have to our honey? We are on the cops, eh? Yeah. They put it in the bomb for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's true, what can one be do? Sting them where it really hurts. In the face, yeah. That would hurt. No. Up the nose. That's a killer. There's only one place you can sting the humans. One place where it matters. Have it far. The hard's only full our action news source. No more be beards. With Bob Bumble at the anchor desk. Whether with Storm Stinger. Sports with Buzz Larvey. And Jeanette Chan. Good evening. I'm Bob Bumble. And I'm Jeanette Chan. A Tri-County B. Bar Benson. Intends to sue the human race for stealing our army. Packaging it and profiting from it illegally. Tomorrow night I'll be Larry King. We have three former queens here in our studio discussing their new book, Classy Ladies, out this week on Hexagon. Tonight we're talking to Bory Benson. Did you ever think, I'm a kid from the hive? I can't do this. Bees have never been afraid to change the world. What about the Columbus? Begotty! But Jesus! Where I'm from, we'd never see humans. We were thinking of stickball or candy stores. How old are you? The big community is supporting you in this case, which will be the trial of the big century. You know, they have a Larry King in the human world too. It's a common name. Next week, he looks like he has a show in suspenders and colored dots. Next week, glasses, quotes on the bottom from the guest even though you just heard him. Very week, next week, that's scary. Harry in here now. Always leans forward, pony shoulders, squinty eyes. Very Jewish, in tennis. You attack at the point of weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Honey, her backhand's a jerk. I'm not gonna take advantage of that. Quite, please. Thanks for working on on here. Is it that scene B? Yeah, yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello. Hello, B. 
This is Ken. Yeah. I remember you, Timbal and size ten and a half. Bob Brown so ugly. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go, cause we're really busy working. But it's our you good night. Bye bye. Why is your good night so difficult? You poor thing. You have been at this for hours. It hurts. Yes. An enemy has been a huge help, Rossman. How many sugars? Just one. I try not to use the competition. So why are you helping me? These are good qualities. And it takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloon bouquets now. Those are great if you're free. And artificial flowers. Oh, those just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Vince Stingers, pointless pollination. These must hate those fake things. Nothing worse than a daffodil that's had work done. Maybe this could make up for it a little bit. This also it's a pretty big deal. I guess. You sure you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'll, I'm home without paying a royalty. It's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan, where the world anxiously waits because for the first time in history, we were here for ourselves if our honey can actually speak. What have we gotten into here, Barry? It's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. You think billion dollar multinational food companies have good lures? Everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. What's the matter? Ah, uh, no. I just gotta chill. Well, if it isn't the B-team, you boys work on this. Or rather, the Honorable Judge Bumbleton presiding. All right. Who's number 4,475, Superior Old of New York? Bory B. Benson The honey industry is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five food companies collectively. A pivot, Mr. Benson. You're representing all the bees of the world. I'm kidding. Yes, your honor, ready to proceed. Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman, born on a farm. She believed it was man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we lived in the topsy-turvy world Mr. Benson imagines, just think of what would it mean. Oh, I would have to negotiate with the silkworm for the elastic in my britches, talking B. How do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry? It could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism cloning. For all we know, he could be on steroids. Mr. Benson, ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it. And we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it from us because we're the little guys. I'm hoping that, after this is all over, you'll see how, by taking our honey, you not only take everything we have, but everything we are. I wish he'd dress like that all the time. So nice. Beekeeper. I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any be free as do you? No. I couldn't hear you. No. No. Because you don't free bees. You keep bees. Not only that, it seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're very lovable creatures. Yogi Bear, Fawzi Bear, Bear the Bear. You mean like this? Bears kill bees. How do you like his head crashing through your living room, biting into your couch, spitting out your throat pillows? Okay. That's enough. Take him away, so, Mr. Sting. Thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard it before? I was with a band called the police, but you've never been a police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here we have yet another example of a culture casually stolen by a human for nothing more than a prince about stage name. Oh, please. Have you ever been stunned, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stunned. Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon, Summer. That's not his real name, you idiots. Mr. Leota, first, belated congratulations on your Emmy win for a guest spot on in 2005. Thank you, thank you. I see from your resume that you're devilishly handsome with a churning in a tumble that's ready to blow. I enjoyed that do. Is it a crown? And yet it isn't. But is this what it's coming for you? Exploiting tiny, helpless piece of your outdoors, your partner, and your line, sir. Watch it, Benson. I could blow right now. This isn't a good fellow. This is a bad fellow. Why doesn't someone just step on this creep? And we can all go home. Water in this court. Mr. Leota, please sit down. I think it was awfully nice of that bear pigeon like that. I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing everything right, legally? I'm a forest. Right. Well, here's to a great team. To a great team. Well, hello. Ken, hello. I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but the battery. I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Bory. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that was lucky. There's a little left. 
I can heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. So I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the game myself. The ball's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit. Right. There. Ken. Bori was looking at your resume, and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have that in common. Do we? These are sick and important, but we do jobs like taking the crud out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken, I let hey, Bori borrow your razor for his fuzz. I hope that was all right. I'm going to drain the old stingray. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know, I've just about had it with your little mind games. What's that? You tell him, Lob, ma, ma, ma. That's a lot of pages. A lot of ads. Remember what Van said. Why is your life more valuable than mine? Funny, it just can't seem to recall that. I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. How do you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Water bug not taking sights. Can I wear a chapstick hat? This is pathetic. I've got his shoes. Well, well, well. Oh, royal flesh. You're bluffing. Oh, my eye. Surf's up, dude. The water. That ball is gnarly. Except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know, I don't even like honey. I need it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee. And he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time. What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life. And you're one of them. Fine. Talking bees. No, you're good night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar-free. Artificial sweeteners made by man. I'm sorry about all that. I know it's got an aftertaste. Ah, like it. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. And well, are you okay for the troll? I believe Mr. Montgomery is about out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Bobby Benson B to the stand. Good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah, and ain't you gonna weave some magic with this jury? Or it's gonna be all over. Don't worry. The only thing I have to do to turn this jury around is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got the tweezers. Are you allergic? Only the losing, son. Only the losing. Mr. Benson B, I ask you what I think we'd all like to know. What exactly is your relationship to that woman? We're friends. Good friends. Yes. How good do you love together? Wait a minute. Are you a little bed bug? I've seen a bee documentary or two. From what I understand, doesn't your queen give birth to all the big children? Yeah, but... So those aren't your real parents? Oh, Bori. Yes, they are. Hold me back. You're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. Don't y'all date your cousins. Objection. I'm going to pincushion this guy. And, um, don't. It's what he wants. I'm hit. Oh, lordy. I am hit. Order. Order. You venom. The venom is coursing through my veins. I have been felled by a winged beast of destruction. You see, you can't treat them like equals. They're striped savages. Stinging's the only thing they know. It's their way. Hidden, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. Where Angel and Messi will come forward to suck the poison from my heaving buttocks. I'll have order in this court. Order, order, please. The case of the honeybees versus the human race took a point and turn against the bees yesterday when one of their legal teams stunned the team. In come I... Hey, buddy. Hey. Is there much pain? Yeah. I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter. What matters is your law. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They got it from the cafeteria downstairs in a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery still on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all... All adrenaline and then... And then ecstasy. All right. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry if it was right into this. What were we thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. What will the humans do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put the roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. And they're checking. But they don't check out. Oh, my. If you get a nest up close that window. Ah, the smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right. Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But some bees are smoking. That's it. That's our case. It is. It's not over. Get dressed. I've got to go somewhere. Get back to the court and stall. Stall only way you can. And assuming you've done step correctly, you're ready for the tab. Mr. Freeman, yes, yes, your honor. Where is the rest of your team? Well, your honor, it's interesting. These are trained to fly half hazardly. And as a result, we don't make very good time. I actually heard a funny story about your honor. 
Haven't these ridiculous bogs taken up enough of this court's valuable time? How much longer will we allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients, who run legitimate businesses. I move for a complete dismissal of this entire case. Mr. Freeman, no, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. But you can't. We have a terrific case. Where is your proof? Where is the evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it! Your Honor, you want a smoking gun? Here is your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What? This? This homeless little contraption? This couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. Look at what has happened to bees who have never been asked. Smoking? Or non? Is this what nature intended for us? To be forcibly addicted to smoke machines and mammoth wooden slot work camps? Living out of these as honey slaves to the white man. What are we gonna do? Is playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Free these bees. Free the 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 bees. The court finds in favor of the bees. Then that's only one I knew you could do it. I fight, sorry, I'm okay, you know what this means. All the honey will finally belong to the bees. Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy perversion of the balance of nature, Benson. You'll regret this. Bora, how much honey is out there? All right, one at a time. Bora, who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren and I have no pants. What if Montgomery's right? What do you mean? We've been living the beware a long time, millions of years. Congratulations on your victory. What will you demand as a settlement? First, we'll demand a complete shutdown of all B-Work camps. Then we won't back the honey that was ours to begin with. Every last drop. We demand an end to the glorification of the bears. Anything more than a filthy, smelly, but brief stink machine. We're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal. Take him out. He'll have gnashes for a few hours, then he'll be fine, and we will no longer tolerate be negative nicknames. But it's just a prance about stage name. Unnecessary inclusion of honey and bogus health products and bloody day human tea time snack garnishments. Can't breathe. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it. Mr. Buzzle, we just passed three cups and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down. We never shut down. Shut down honey production! Stop making honey turn your key, sir! What do we do now? Cannonball! We're shutting honey production and machine aboard. Aborting pollination and nectar detail. Returning the base, Adam. You wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh, uh, yeah. What's going on? Where is everybody? They're there celebrating. They're home. They don't know what to do. They are out sleeping in. I heard your uncle always on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least we got our honey back. Sometimes I think. So what if humans locked our honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be part of making it. This was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This, what happened here? That is not the half of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. What is for, do you think that is? You know, I'm gonna guess bees. Bees, specifically me. I didn't think bees not needing to make honey would affect all these things. It's not just flies, fruits, vegetables. They all need bees. That's our whole set test right there. Take away produce. That affects the entire animal kingdom. And then, of course, the human species. So if there's no more pollination, they could all just go south here. Couldn't it? And now this is also partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? How do we do it? They'll sting you, you step on me. That just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, Bori. Sorry. But I gotta get going. Oh, my math and talk. Vanessa. Vanessa. Where are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of Rose's parade in Pasadena. It moved it to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa. I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant it to turn out like this. I know, you know that, Tournament of Roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait. Minute. Roses. 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 Vanessa, roses. Bori, roses are flowers. Yes, they are ours, bees. Pollen. I know, that's why this is the last parade. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down? Bori. Hey, hey. Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster, all my fault. Yes, it kind of is. I've ruined the planet. I wanted to help you with the flower shop. I made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. 
I thought maybe you were remodeling, but I have another idea, and it's greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. All right, they have the roses. The roses have the pollen. I know every bee. Platinum flower bud in this park. All we gotta do is get what they've got back here with what we've got. These park pollen flowers with pollination across the nation. Tournament of Roses, Pasadena, California. They've got nothing but flowers. Lots in cotton candy. Security will be tight. Well, I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom. Artificial floral business. It's real. Sorry, man. Mess brooch. Thank you. It was a gift. Once in sire. We just picked the right floor. How about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess. And you could be the pea. Yes, I got it. Where should I sit? What are you? I believe I'm the P. The P. It goes under the mattresses. Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting a marshal. You do that. This whole parade is a fiasco. Let's see what this baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? Then all we do is blend in with traffic. Without arousing suspicion. Once at the airport, there's no stopping us. Stop, security. You and your insect pack your foot. Yes. Has it been in your possession the entire time? Would you remove your shoes? Remove your stinger. It's part of me. Ain't there? Just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. Then if we're lucky, we'll have just enough pollen to do the job. And you believe how lucky we are. We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is gonna work. It's got to work. Attention passengers, this is Captain Scout. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple hours delay. Worry these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I gotta get up there and talk to them. Be careful. Can I get help with the Sky Mall magazine? I have to order the talking inflatable nose in the air head trimmer. Captain, I'm in a real situation. What do you say? How? Nothing. B. Don't freak out. My entire species. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Bill. Bury. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. Would a Miss Vanessa Bloom in 24B please report to the cockpit? And please hurry. What happened here? There was a dustbuster. A toupee. A life raft exploded. One's bald. One's in a boat. They're both unconscious. Is that another big joke? No, no one's flying the plane. This is JFK Control Tower, Flight 256. What's your status? This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm a forest from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious, and so is the co-pilot. Not good. Does anyone on board have flight experience? As a matter of fact, they're... Who's the head of Barry Benson? From the high trial, oh, great. Vanessa, this is nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got giant wings, huge engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Is it John Travolta pilot? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait, Bory, we're headed into some mining. This is Bob Bumble. We have some late breaking news from JFK Airport, where a suspenseful scene is developing. Bory Benson, fresh from his legal victory. That's Bory. Is attempting to land a plane. Loaded with people, flowers, and an incapacitated flight crew. Flowers! We have a storm in the area and two individuals at the controls with absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute. There's a bee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson and his no account compadres. They've done enough damage, but isn't he your only hope? Technically, we shouldn't be able to fly at all. Their wings are as small. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of the wings and body mass make no sense. Get this on the air. The stand by. We're going live. The way we work may be a mystery to you. Making honey takes a lot of bees doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference. More than we realized. To us. To everyone. That's why I'm going to get bees back to working together. That's the bee way. We're not made of jello. We get behind our fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. Left. Right. Down. Over. Hover. Forget hover. This isn't so hard. Beep, 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 beep. Bore, what happened? Wait. I think we were on autopilot the whole time. That may have been helping me. And now we're now. So it turns out I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get behind this fellow. Move it out. Move out. Our only chance is if I do what I do. You cover me with the wings of the plane. Don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this, Vanessa. Pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. You 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 snap out of it.
Hold it, why? Come on, it's my turn. How's the plane flying? I don't know how it in. Got any flowers for a happy occasion in there? The pollen jocks. There you get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello, all right. Let's drop this thing on the blacktop. Well, I can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on. You got to think me, Barry. Thinking me. Thinking me. Thinking me. Thinking me. Thinking me. Wait a minute. I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. It's strong. Pulling me. Like a 27 million year old instinct. Bring the nose down. Thinking me. Thinking me. Thinking me. What in the world is on the tarmac? Get some my tarmac! Thinking bee! Thinking bee! Thinking bee! But then I say aim for the flower, okay? At the engines! We're going in on B power! Ready, boys! Affirmative! Good! Good now, that's it. Land on that flower, ready. For reverse, spin it around. Not that flower, the other one. Each one. That flower. I'm aiming at the flower. That's a fat guy in a flowered shirt. Oh, I mean the giant pulsating flower made of millions of bees. Pull forward, nose down. Tail up. Rotate around it. This is insane. Bori. This is the only way I know how to fly. Am I cuckoo -cuck -cuck -cuck? Or is this plane flying in an insect-like pattern? Hit your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it. Full reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it in. Drop it in. Woman. Come on already. Bori. We did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes. Now I have five. Right. Bori. It worked. This runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. That means this is our last chance. We're the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers and dress like this. If we're gonna survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? Are we going to be bees or just museum of natural history keychains? We're bees keychain. Then follow me. Except keychain. Hold on. Bori. Here. You've earned this. Yeah. I'm a pollen jock. And it's a perfect fit. All I gotta do are the sleeves. Oh yeah. That's how boring. Mom, the bees are back. If anybody needs to make a call, now's the time. I got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon on our help who's next. Would you like some honey with that? It is be approved. Don't forget bees and milk cream. Cheese. It's all me, and I don't say a nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I had no idea. Bori, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate will help you. Sorry I'm late. He's a lot too. I was already a blood-sucking parasite. All I needed was a briefcase. Have a great afternoon. Bori, I just got this huge tulip order, and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Manny. Just leave it to me. You're a lifesaver, Bori. On a help who's next. All right. Scramble. Jokes. It's time to fly. Thank you, Bori. That bee is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly. It sure is. Between you and me, while I was dying to get out of that office, you've got to stop thinking B, my friend. Thinking B, me, hold it. Let's just stop for a second. Hold it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Can we stop here? I'm not making a major life decision during a production number, all right? Take 10, everybody. Wrap it up, because I had virtually no rehearsal for that.